guys, <clears throat> it's been a while. This is Carpy Two Mess here. We're gonna have ourselves a little tea. So, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get that tea ready as soon as I find a good place to put this sucker. Yeah, that's a good place. It's always nice to watch the fire. I think. I am so sorry that I haven't hang, hung out with you guys in so long. I've been so busy. Just working all that. Hope you like my new ghetto water bottle. And put some water in here. It looks like our fire is somewhat dying right now. But I do hope that... Oh no, there ain't no way that sucker is dying. It's a really windy day, if you couldn't tell by the mo movements of my fire. I'm sure you could tell it was a windy day, couldn't you now? Okay, we're going to have ourselves a little Bigelow tea, my favorite tea, yay. Plantation mint right here, yep. This sucker right here. This mother trucker. Mother one. Now we're going to put the lid on this baby. As you can tell guys, this is not my first rodeo. I do this all the time. While we're waiting for our tea to cook, how about we put a good dip in? Yes. We're going to be dipping some Copenhagen Extra Long Cut. Three packs all you need, one hand open. Get ourselves a pinch. Is that okay with you guys, pinch police? This is really what my life consists of right here. All in all, bushcraft keeps me going. It's so peaceful, so calm, so nice. I love it. Uh, but we're gonna have ourselves a good tea. Hopefully, pretty soon. Oh, uh, this fire's cooking pretty hard now. My fire skills have actually improved. I learned a lot. You learn a lot pretty much every time you go make a fire, actually. Every time you go make a fire, you learn a little bit more. 
Then you learn a little bit more, and a little bit more. That's why my fires are actually pretty good. Now, I'm not saying I'm the best fire maker in the world. Not by a long shot. But, I will tell you this. Uh, this fire took me a couple tries with the tinder. But once you get the tinder going pretty good, you're pretty much going to have a good fire. Let's just say that. If the tinder's going pretty good, your fire is going to be going pretty good. Now, I went to Walmart because I, I want to practice more primitive fire making skills, you know? Like the ferro rods, aka fire steer, steel, fire stick, whatever you want to call it, smoke stick. I wanted to get me one, but they didn't have one. I saw Walmart had everything, but I saw it wrong. Yeah, now the big guys are catching. I'll show you guys the fire a little bit. See how well that's going. You see, that's going pretty darn good. When tending to a fire, you just keep at it. Except when you're building a long fire, that's when you can just screw off for long periods of time. Actually, pretty much right here, I can screw off right now, but I don't want to. I don't want to have an extensively long video. Excuse me for the gunshots in the background. They don't mind me, hopefully they don't mind you. Actually, I'm one to fight for our gun rights, actually. So it's always nice to hear them gunshots. Because uh, we're not in the city, so nobody's getting killed. to my knowledge. Anyways. But yeah, I am really sorry since because I haven't been on YouTube in so long making my dip videos. I kind of quit making my dip videos and kind of put them along with my bushcrafting videos. 
this video is yet again going to be another boring one. But I'm pretty sure my tea, my water should be at least boiling. So let me put you down for a sec. It's not as hot as I would like it to be. These fires like this one right here are unpredictable. They're so hot that but they burn so slow. So you don't know what the capabilities of this fire is. Just like that. Caught that big sticks just like they were nothing. Well, I think I'm going to continue this video until uh, another video. Okay. Stay tuned for video two.